Yeah, you're just gonna do that. Wait a minute, hold on. You give me nothing. Okay. You just give me a way back up. So this is where we found that heart, uh, heart piece. And there's a dead end that way. I forgot about that. Damn. Hopefully we get something useful pretty soon. Something that uh, can shot us across large gaps and the such. But, oh yeah, so that downstairs next to the entrance of the dungeon will lead to uh, that downstairs to the right over there. And it's a one way, so keep that in mind as we re-enter Canalet Castle, or at least some of it. And when we come this way, instead of continually going down, I'll have to take a left. So it's on the other side of the... Or unless... Wait a minute, I can't. What? Uh... Okay, I guess we're coming in from this way. I could have sworn. This is where I'm going to need to start glancing at my notes, because I know I'm pretty much going to have to collect every single seashell that's available to us at the moment. And as you guys could have probably guessed, uh, we'll have to go back over... Uh, over to this area and grab the one that I didn't want to grab before. So unfortunately, it just is so perfect to the point where, you know, we have to collect everything available to us now. And I'm fine with that. So, wait a minute. Is there nothing on the side? What? what why is he just like headbanging there? There you go. He wasn't diving. <laughs> nothing there. Huh. All right. Well, that's pretty sad uh yeah damn dude <sighs> link 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 all right uh so to the animal village i guess we should go and we're gonna have to venture into some dangerous territory yeah this is probably a good idea nothing in the desert and because we can swim a lot of these areas just kind of blend together on whether or not we need to actually go to them so Sorry if I'm getting all my ordeals up in arms, but we'll be fine. And Marin should still be here, right? She's still singing the song of her people. I'm still concussing myself to the song of the people. Lovely. So I know where this one is. I just wanted to avoid grabbing it for the time being. Because I don't want to be bad. Didn't want to be bad, man. So we haven't really swam around these parts. But there's a lot to do. And ooh, we're going to have to go over there, aren't we? We're gonna have to go into that water. That watery business. Alright, I'm gonna throw a bush at you. Not kill you. That's new. Really, sir? Gonna... Wow, that bomb. You're gonna take me the hell out, aren't you? Alright, what do you got for me? The wind fish slumbers long. The hero's life gone. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I like the sound of that, sir. Uh, this is a heads up. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the ancient ruins. At all costs, avoid touching anything. These Armos Knights will come to life and wreck your shite. It is not fun business. And I don't remember where this is. So in case we need to make a quick getaway. Oh, god damn it. Damn it. Oh boy. That did a number on me. All right, well. It's over here, right? Right? Please tell me it's over here. Oh no, I don't have a fairy either. <laughs> oh, it's further. Damn. <laughs> or he just jumped up on the couch. He smells like cat litter, so I'm assuming he just took the gnarliest dump. All right, this is what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna, that's not gonna activate. Is it seriously to the left some more? Just, just stay away, please. Sir, please. I have a family. <laughs> oh, you know, I, I guess I do have this. I don't know how effective they are. Ori, get off the table, man. All right, am I going to see the little thing pop up? It's down here. I know it is. All right, before I do something stupid and get my ass killed. Oh, it's over here to the right. Of course it is. All right, let's bring him to life. Evanescent style, I guess. Be gone with thee, monster! You of the undead. Is he not over here? Oh no. I made a mistake. <laughs> Alright, it's time to do it. A cut in the middle of the video to see what I have to do, because I don't remember where it is. One second. Okay, I found it, and I am an idiot. Alright, this is gonna be dumb. 
nudge this guy right here, and he will make that appear. Uh, has anyone played Zelda 1 before? Clearly not this guy. I played the DX version. But here it is, number 39. <sighs> Which means, where the hell is 40? I Oh, you know what? I should have looked at that. God damn, I'm a dummy. Um, yeah. So, woof. Um, just kidding. Okay, you know what? I wanted to do this, and then boom. I'm going to sing into the stone. I'm not going to worry about it. So we're actually going to head over to the animal village. Because, okay, so it's right here. Got it. Where, where is it? So we got that one. And we got the one in the waterfall. We got, oh, did we get the one that was next to uh, Key Cavern? I feel like I did that absentmindedly while talking about something. But the reason why I wanted to head back over here, hopefully avoid certain death, is to avoid a shameful walk back to, uh, oh god, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Or, oh my god, he's gonna knock over a painting. So we have this giant ass, like, like map of the world, and it's leaning up against the fireplace, kind of effectively blocking it, but Ori wedges his way in there, and he knocks over the thing every so often. And it's loud, man. It's loud as heck. So, you know what? Let's put this to good use. Let's kill some bitches. Yeah! Calculated. There is a heart piece in these waters, unless I already grabbed it. In which case, I should be ashamed of myself. We did come down this way, though, didn't we? I think, I think we did. Ah, uh, so this is leading back over there. That's gonna have a thing over there? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna heal up real quick before anything dumb happens to me. And uh, I'll meet you guys in just a minute. Ah, uh, the shameful walk to the fairy fountain. Lovely. Okay, so for some reason, I feel like I am just very slightly off on my heart piece count. I've, I'm short by one, and I don't know which one I didn't grab. Because there's supposed to be, I think, three or four we can grab. Uh, our number, ooh, should be at 22 at the moment, but we're at 21. And I have no idea which one I missed, because I feel like I just collected all of them. Because we got three in the water, right? It must be that damn cat that is just... <laughs> Causing me not to think, but this is the one that I thought we grabbed, but did not. Therefore, we grabbed it now. Everything is fine, swell, and dandy. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ellison Cruz, and rubbing my wrists together, we got ourselves 40 seashells. Which means that Sally can sit her ass down, and we can get ourselves probably one of the most useful upgrades in the entire game. And I love it, and I'm rarely going to be able to use it. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. So, we return back here for another gift. Thank you, Mr. Spirit of the Mansion. I will take the sword that I earned. Let's do it. We got the Colin sword. You should put your name on it right away. Yes, the Ellison branded coolant. Let's do it. So at full health, you get yourself a lovely beam, but your attack damage is also doubled. And the reason why that's good is because right now we're doing extra damage because we have the red tunic. And you might argue, yeah, it's overkill, and that we should probably switch to the blue tunic now. And to that I say, eh, that's fine. I'm, I'm okay with not because I don't care, and we're fine, and we don't need to switch it. But I probably will, just so that I can stop dying, since that appears to be uh, something that happens to me very frequently. I am continually um, at odds with myself, and I keep, you know, screwing everything up for myself, i.e. Uh, businesses relating to... Uh, wow, I had a weird, really weird, strong sense of deja vu there. Um, yeah, uh, carelessness to my play style. So, wow. So Sarah's taking a trip, and I'm supposed to wake her up at 8 o'clock so we can hang out and so she can pack before she leaves to the airport. And I just had, like, this weird premonition of me in the middle of that sentence, her walking out and saying, hey, I have to go, or something. And I'm like, but it's not 8 o'clock yet, it's like 7. And she was just like, oh, or something. But that didn't happen. It's just me being goddamn weird, I guess. 
So I guess I will probably end up switching to the blue tunic because we don't really need to have, a, you know, that much, <laughs> not much damage dealing to do, right? So before we go, I want to see if we can actually do this. I wonder if it's after we finish Catfish's Maw before this becomes available to us because there's a fisherman and oh, because it's glowing, that means we can do it. How about some fishing, little buddy? I only charge you 10 roops. Just a couple of roops. What kind of lure are you going with? Let's go for the middle eight. All right. So uh, something that I was screwing up and I didn't realize is that when a fish is going against your line, the reason why it keeps breaking is because the fish is going away from you. So you need to really time it out and stop reeling in when... Uh, uh, okay. I was wondering. I was hoping there might have been another one here. Um, yeah, just stop reeling in when the thing happens. So we can get cheap cheeps now. And these guys are really hard to catch occasionally. A little bit easier, the better lure. But I would like to get this. All right, so, yep, when he runs away, don't reel in. Oh yeah, he goes fast. Come on, come on. I'm pressing A. Ooh. Oh no! All right, well that's to be expected. What? God damn! Why am I so bad at this on camera? I don't think catching a cheap cheap really is going to be any different. But you know what? Here, let's grab this one. Why not? Come on, come on! Don't don't just nibble on the bait, man. Our starving fish in the sea. Yet you elect to just be a dick about the very little amounts of stuff you get. Ooh. Does that count as a thing? Damn. All right. Well, I'll walk away. Just walk away. Man, I'm usually pretty good at these kinds of things, but today has just not been my day. No, I didn't want the lightweight. Ugh. Let's hope it's a surface level cheap cheap. No, it's just a bunch of schmucks. Although I can change. It's not going to matter because there's no cheap cheaps here. And I'm not sure exactly what they give you. I think just a new high score, right? Huh. Well, let's try it, I guess. I think one of them gives us the heavyweight lure. Yeah, no cheap cheaps. Did I squander it? Hmm. Hmm. I might do a little bit of investigating, but I think for all intents and purposes, we're going to end things off here on The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Sorry, I had to think there for a second. The light's there, so I'm assuming that just means, yeah, more more stuff. Eventually, we'll be able to catch bloopers, and those are fun. I just i am too bad at it, so I, I, I usually don't, and I do want to keep going. I want to cast my line and grab this son of a bitch. Notoriously more difficult. All right, here you go. Hope you're happy. Hey, hey, eat up. There is a lovely lure here for you. Come on, come on. Oh, <laughs> he's like, oh, I don't like it when my food is too difficult to eat. Me. Oh, this guy's gonna be tough, isn't he? He's gonna be a little wise guy. Picky eater, Mr. Cheap Cheap. Come on. All right, so, press it. oh. Okay, so if he jumps while you're trying to reel him in, then it's pretty much a no-go. Hooray, I caught a slightly larger fish. This is when they swim in these waters. Oh, no. Destroying the ecosystem. So 20 inches, a lunka. Yeah, that one was not good, but I got my money mouth. Money back. However, oh, there's a seashell in there. Okay. Well, that's good. I thought it might have been something else, but you know what? I'll take that. Huh, well, I guess we really didn't have to go to the lengths of almost dying to grab one of the seashells, but ladies and gentlemen, join me next time on The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening as I have a shitload of episodes I need to edit and hope that none of the footage fell through for because that would have been bad. Um, we're going to be doing some things pertaining to getting ourselves into Catfish's Maw, exploring a little bit more of the overworld, and probably inadvertently getting richer by the minute every time we do it. Link's side job of being, you know, you know, the, the hedge clipper has really been real good for paying off his student loans. So, yeah, there you go. Keep on going, Link. You're only making it easier for yourself. 
Cool. All right. Yeah. So we'll do that next time. I'm feeling pretty good about this recording session. It's not, it's never fun when a person is too good at a game that it's not enjoyable to watch. It's like, where's the tension? Where is the difficulty? Where does it lie? And maybe I'll figure out where that lost piece of heart is because I should have ended with an even number. And this is, this is not an even number. It doesn't even tell you how many you have. But, oh yeah, we also have a broom we've been walking around with. Huh. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. You all, you little mutt. I'm out of here. <laughs>